What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And today's Division 2 video is all about why you need to either start a new character right now or delete one of your mule characters, quote unquote, and start another one again right now. So I'm going to explain all the workings in and out and the entire process. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Don't forget to grab your popcorn and hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing and let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. So making a new character. Now for well over a year and a half now, I've had four characters. I've had uh, two mule characters, like one carries all my exotics and gear sets and another character carries like all my gear I don't use, like sniper, rifle, shotgun, all that stuff. Now I had them for the longest time and gaining all of these shade levels, what I have noticed is the only thing really left to do is to fully optimize my builds, get, you know, the full potential out of them. And with that, you have to use a lot of materials. So what I have learned is that I could delete one of my mule characters and restart them at Warlords of New York, meaning you can skip the level 1 to 30, just go straight to Warlords of New York, and then just do levels 31 to 40, and then after you take out Keener, you get the watch. You get Keener's watch. Now, this is where it becomes crucial. So here's my example, and I'm going to walk you through this entire video. So just, you know, take out your notepad and don't forget to hit that like because I know this is going to be pretty informative. Now, here's a random build. Um, I believe this is like a skill haste build that I'm putting together just because. Now, for each of these, there are attributes on this build that need to be optimized. A lot of attributes. In fact, I think every single piece of gear has an attribute that needs to be optimized. So this is going to be my guinea pig build for this video. Now, I am shade level 2976. So just remember that whenever we go over to my new character. So this is my main guy, and that is the build that I want to take care of. Now, if I go over to the optimization station, just to show you where I'm starting out at. So if I go to optimize, and let's start with the chess piece. I don't have enough chess piece um, materials to do the optimization. I have uh, enough black tusk and all the other ones, but I don't have enough chest. So if I go to the backpack, for this one, I do have enough, so let's go ahead and optimize that. Let's go back to it. I do have enough, so let's optimize that. But now you can see I do not have enough materials to optimize the backpack. Go to the knee pads. Again, optimizing. I do not have enough flags for either one of those. Opti uh, optimize the holster. Again, I do not have enough flags. And then to the gloves, I do not have enough flags. Now, these are all going to take a lot of optimizing to do. So what I'm going to do now is show you my new character that I just leveled up. So if I log out, it should only take a few seconds. So here's my main character. You can still see 144 days, something like that. Here's my second character, my main mule has 19 days played. Not bad. Then we have my hardcore character. You guys have been seeing that in my live streams. So far I have four days played on that guy. And then here's my mule, my, my extra, extra character. So you can see right here, I am at the shade level two, 2,976, but I only have three hours played. And that's because I just finished um, Warlords of New York and got this character up to level 40 just for this video. So I'm going to show you and give you a step-by-step -step process of how this works. So you load up your new character and you're still in New York City. Now this is directly after beating Warlords of New York. I still haven't even touched my Keener's watch. 
So here we go. So it says access Keener's watch. And you see that nothing, I haven't even unlocked this yet. This is a brand new character. Okay. Local administrator override initiated. Administrator override complete. Now we have to wait for this whole process to happen. All right, here we go. So now it shows I'm shade level 2976. I hit select path. And you can see I have max tokens for the weapon damage. So it shows the available points, 200. So I can go all the way down to 50 of 50. And just right off the bat, I have a maxed out watch. Now this is not what we really care for. We're just doing this for the tutorial. So we do that, that's all cool and dandy. Oh, come on. Jeez, it's like one of the slowest animations ever. There we go. Hey. Root directory compromised. So now it wants us to go to the next one. It shows that our health boost is at 35,000. Unlock other protocols and in tutorial. So boom. So now it has unlocked the entire watch. You can see that it already puts the 200 into each of these for your attributes. And more importantly, now we have the scavenging points. Now this is what you want. And this is why you want to make a new character right now or delete one of your characters and redo Warlords of New York. Because now I have 2,100 um, scavenging points I can get. Now you can see right here I'm at 000. Oh no, what, what's going on with this, right? So what you do... It's before, before you do anything with that watch, you need to go back to DC. So let's go back to DC. And I'll show you exactly what you need to do before you spec into that watch. Because this is a vital tip and trick. Because a lot of people might, you know, they might waste some tokens when they don't need to. So because you have Washington, D.C. open again, you can come over here to your crafting bench and this lady right here, Anaya. And right here at the very top, it says account shared blueprints and account shared materials. This is vital. So now when you buy these... Now that we've bought those, you see all the other ones have disappeared because now we have shared everything from my other main account to this one. And now we have that and that's it. So now when we go back to the watch and we go back to the scavenging points, you can see now I'm maxed out. And in fact, I have even more materials than I did before. I have over the max cap. And that's because it just combined what this character has with my other accounts. Because that happens when you get Keener's watch. You can merge all of the accounts together, share all of the materials, and now whenever I claim these 2176 scavenging points, now it's going to go to my main account as well. So this is the vital like in-game thing you need to do. That way you can fully optimize all of your builds, get everything ready. So I'm going to come over here because this might actually take a second. So go back to my watch. And now that everything is shared, all I need to do is just max out what I can. So that's now maxed. And it's not going to take that long, and you're still going to have a lot of scavenging points left over. See, now that one's maxed. And then that's all you do. You just sit here and do this. So I said the problem that we were facing is we didn't have enough flags. So let me come over here. And what I'll do is I'll claim probably 150 flags. And then I'll go back to my other character and show you, you know, what you can do with this. So keep going. Now, every time you claim one of these flags, the field recon datas, 
Um, it counts it up by two, so every scavenging point counts as two recon datas. All right, so eh, let's just stop there. 109, let's, let's just do 109 of each. All right, so we go back to my main character, so log out, and we'll go over to the main character. All right, here we go. Log back in. Gotta love these uh, load times, right? Come on. Okay. So now that we're back here, let's go back to the optimization station where I was having trouble optimizing my gear. So come on back over here to the, what's this, the recalibration station. Go to optimize and start off with the chest piece again. So you can see I still don't have enough chess piece materials. Oh no, what am I to do? So let's go over here. I can go to my crafting bench, go down to optimization, and then scroll down to the chess piece blueprint. Right here, boom, chess piece. Now let's buy, I don't know, five of these maybe. Three, four, and five. All right. So now that we have bought, we've bought 50 chest weaves, go back to optimize, chest piece, and let's see. Oop, I'm still short two, okay. So let's go back over here. Chest piece, boom, one. Ooh, now I'm low on protective fabric. Now that's the only problem you're gonna have with optimizing and doing all this stuff is now I have to get protective fabric to get that chest piece. So now I can't do the chest piece. So let's move on to the backpack. So the backpack, I am short two of, it looks like the true suns. So then go back over here. And basically what you can do is you can use all of the materials and all of the scavenging points to get everything you need. So one, and two for the true suns. Come back over here to the backpack. Optimize. And boom. Now my skill haste is fully maxed out. So backpack is done. I can't do the chest piece. Let's go on to the knee pads. So the knee pads, I have a lot of optimizing to do. So let's go ahead and try that out. And we can just keep doing this. You guys can see it's, you know, doing... Oh. Now I'm down on flags again. Let's go over here. Oh, down on flags again. Let's go to holster. Oh, I still need more flags. Go to gloves. And I still need more flags. So as a last resort, you go back to the crafting station. Go to optimization right here at the very top. Field recon bundle. You can buy, you know, as many of these as you can. Now I'm going to try to use as much materials as possible. I, I want to make this absolutely clear to each and every one of you. That way you can um, do this with ease. So keep buying these recon data bundles because I do need flags. And I don't really care about materials because my other character now has over 2,100 scavenging points. Oh, and now I'm low on ceramics. Okay. So let's go back to optimize. Now we've already done the mask, chest, and backpack. Let's go back to the knee pads. All right, so knee pads, I can max this out, boom. I don't really care about weapon damage on that one, so let's try to do skill damage on this one, boom. All right, so now I'm low on flags again. Now at this point, I am low on flag optimization tokens. And if I go over here to the crafting station, now I'm low on materials to craft the field recon data. So this is where you go back to the new character you just created. And it's that simple. And then you max out your materials again, and you keep doing this until all of your gear is fully optimized. So now I go back to this new character once more.
But of course, once you run out of scavenging points, you can't do this anymore. And then you're going to have to start another character. All right, so here we go again. Character number four. Go back to my watch. Go back to scavenging. And you can see where it's reflected. Now none of these are maxed out, so I have to refill it. But once I refill it on this character, I can go back to my main character and all my materials and you know optimization points will be maxed out again. So this is a great feature that they put into the game that I think a lot of people that are saying there's nothing to do, um, they forget that you can do this. You can do this and you can max out all of your gear. You can get great XP for your clan and wh whatever it is. Um, it does obviously take time to level up your characters all the way through 40 again. And it does help you know everyone out because you're still playing the game all the time. But it definitely helps you out because now you can max all this stuff out, go back to your main character, optimize all that gear, and get ready for this new content that's on its way, you know, to us. We're going to have the new gear, the new weapons that we're going to have to grind for, and we're going to have this new game mode that we're going to be able to play. So why not go into that update with fully optimized builds and take full full advantage of it? Now I have maxed all of these out again. Pretty simple. And then that's it. Now I could sit here and do the shade calibration and field recon data all day to fill these up to both to 500. But I don't want to, you know, put you guys through that in this video. So what I'll do is I'll just put them back to 100 each. And then we'll go back to that main character, see how far I've uh, been able to optimize that build. And then we should be good to go. Now the only problem like I showed you is when you are crafting those um, blueprints for the optimized uh, gear. Uh, for example, the chess piece um, material that I was crafting for optimization, I had to have protective fabrics. Now you can't get that out of the scavenging points. Protective fabrics you can only get out of dismantling gear. So you still have to go out get more gear, dismantle that to get that resource back up. And as long as you can do that, you could be able to just craft whatever optimization material you need to fully optimize all of your builds. And this is a pretty simple technique. Um, if you had the right crew to run through this, you could get through level 31 to 40, probably in about, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours tops. So you could do this in about two hours and have all of these uh, scavenging tokens at your will, at your disposal. And then all of a sudden you can fully optimize whatever it is you want. Now this is just the first video of many like how to tips and tricks type videos. Um, so for this one, I'm showing you why you should make extra characters and why you should have four characters um, on your account. The next video, I think I'm going to go through the crafting table, show you the ins and outs of the crafting table and blueprints. After that, we're going to talk about the recalibration station and everything you need to know about that. And then finally, I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know about optimizing your gear, the ins and outs, and how to do that as well. So you got a little taste of it in this video with the, you know, make a new character now video and uh, me explaining it. So you kind of have a little sense of optimizing and how to do that efficiently now. So I hope you found this video informative. If so, don't forget, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I am Kamikaze Von Doom, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Now I'm going to fully optimize this build so I can do this for a build video later. Um, let's see where, oh my gosh, so much optimization. Oh, nope, come on. Boom. Oop, I am short on, I think that's cleaner material. Come over here.
over here, optimization. What was it, cleaner? Yep, cleaner. I think I only need two of those. This should be good. Optimize, gloves, boom. And I'm down on flags again. And then I have to do it all over again. Go back to my other character, stock up, and come back. But I can do this and fully optimize all of my builds pretty easy. You just need to have enough shade levels and have the time to make multiple characters. But all right, everyone, I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Thank you for sticking around this long, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.